Hey girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with a new video today. Today I'm going to be doing a look using the Morphe 35W palette. But first I'm just going to go in and colour correct. So I'm just going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit. And I'm going to be taking the orange shade to cancel out any dark um, colours around my face after I've put foundation on. So if you can still see any dark scarring or shadows around your face after you've put foundation on, just colour correct and it shall go away and not appear as dark anymore. Then going in with my foundation brush and just blending this out so it's not a stark orange on the face. Um, you don't need so much color correction, it just the tiny bit makes so much difference. Now going in with this Aman powder, um, it has no color to it so it's okay to go in with and I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows so when I put my product on I don't get oily brows. I'm going to be using the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate today. This is my first time using a stencil and I hated the way it came out so I just had to freestyle and do my own brows. Now I'm going in with a NYX um, skin tone eye primer and I'm just going to be placing that evenly all over my eye and blending it out so all the eyeshadows appear more pigmented. Now going in with my Morphe brushes palette, this is the 35W palette, um, it's the only Morphe one I have and I'm loving it so far. I'm going to be taking this orange shade, this dark burnt orange shade, <laughs> perfect for fall and I'm going to be doing this sellotape look. I've been doing this a lot recently guys. If you don't follow my Instagram, it's at Makeup by Tammy in the top left hand corner as you can see. Um, I post a lot of looks daily nearly every day um, so definitely more active than on YouTube sorry guys but yeah I've been loving this color loving it so I'm just going in and placing that as my transition shade I'm also using a new brush today which I'm feeling as you can tell in the video um, it's meant to be a dupe for the real techniques bold metals I think it's called but I got the whole set of about six brushes I think for about six pound if you want me to do a review on them guys I can do that because from using them this day I can tell I'm loving them this brush perfectly blends out but applies color perfectly too it's just amazing I was very very surprised so cheap not one bit of shedding it's it's unbelievable but yeah if you can't wait for the review, if I decide to do one, I'm just telling you guys the brushes seem worth it 100%. £6, I will leave the link below. So going back in with my Morphe palette, once I'm done blending that out and get it to the intensity I want, I'm going to be taking this dark purpley grey colour and I'm going to be working that into my outer corner and into my crease and eventually moving it into my inner corner and just packing on the colour. So at first guys, you just want to concentrate on it's up to you some people start with blending some people start with packing on color um, today I felt like blending it out so I just started with the blending and then towards the end I ended up packing on more color just to make it a bit more intense which is this, the stage you're looking at now so as you can see the purples coming out a bit more metallic a bit more pigmented that's because I've built it up so it, it didn't take two minutes like it just showed you but I did build up the color layer by layer then going back in with that burnt orange color just to blend out the harsh edges i looking back on this video guys i remember how much i love this brush the brush was doing justice <laughs> now going in with this light gold almost um white gold champagne color i'm going to be placing it on the middle of my lid and blending it out ever so slightly i don't want it to overtake the purple so i'm just placing it in the middle bit and blending it very very slightly and as you saw me doing i did use fix plus in this look just because you get a bit more of a metallic look from this and i did want the gold to pop so yeah i did use fix plus you could use um, whichever setting spray you have i would recommend water if you don't have any setting sprays anything to make your brush just a little bit damp will pick up the pigment a whole lot better now going in with a clean brush with no product on it I'm just gonna be gently 
blending the gold into the purple but like I said I don't want it to overtake the purple so ever so slightly and ever so gently and then just giving it a good old blend at the edges and this is what it look, should look like so far if you feel like you do need a bit more purple go on in with a bit more purple I think I did but I don't know if I included the clip so now going in with liner I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner in black I seem to be using this every day now and this is what it looks like obviously it looks a bit crazy with the sellotape but as you take the sellotape off you get a really nice crisp defined wing which is the look I've been loving recently so now that the eyes are semi done I'm gonna go in and try and complete the face so I'm gonna be using this highlight powder which is well loved as you can see from the ABH cream contour kit in dark and I'm gonna be placing that under my eyes I know it looks rough guys but I am pressing quite gently not really gently quite gently <laughs> you know and I'm gonna be using my real techniques beauty sponge beauty expert sponge oh rock out yep okay mm -hmm. yeah the beauty expert sponge I can't remember if that's what it's exactly what it's called but I'm gonna be using that on my nose under my eyes my chin and a tiny bit on my forehead you know everywhere the light naturally hits as they say then of course going in with my foundation brush and just blending that out so there's no harsh edges. Then I'm going in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder which I haven't used in a while. Sorry guys the whole clip of me putting it on got cut out but we work with what we have hey. <laughs> so I'm just pressing that in with my beauty sponge. I'm not baking per se I'm just pressing the powder into my skin. I don't feel like I wanted to bake today. There is a bit of excess powder but not too much. That I think I would consider it baking and I'm swiping it away straight away so you know I'm just pressing the powder into my skin and then brushing it away then I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix powder in NC50 and I'm gonna be blending that on the perimeters of my face so everywhere I did not put the contour just because the foundation is still a bit sticky you can still feel it's not completely matte and I like matte skin you know because I do get oily throughout the day now going in with this matte plummy purpley shade from the morphe 35w palette i'm going to be placing that underneath my lower lash line then going in with my laura geller gilded honey highlight i love this for the inner corner such a bright pop of color uh, sorry pop of gold then i'm going to be using some mascara on my top and lower lashes this is another brush from that set that i was talking about earlier guys look at it it applies bronzer I was shocked let's just watch the video and see my shockation yeah look at this oh. <laughs> I can't believe it applied the bronzer contour or whatever you want to call it so effortless f wow effortlessly there we go that I was blown away and quickly as well if I do say so myself it applied it quicker than all my other brushes um yeah so I am loving this brush set why can I not talk today brush set oh god oh and the contour powders I'm using is city color B matte bronzer and I'm contouring my nose with that as well and then I'm using this sun kiss giant bronzer later just to add a bit of color to my face and I also decided to add a tiny bit of gold glitter to the middle part of my eye just to add a bit of sparkle I just wanted a little bit extra it was a completely optional step <laughs> so now I'm going in with my sunkissed giant bronzer in medium I love the glow that this gives it's just a nice warm glow to the skin then going in with this blush by LA girl I believe uh, coral it's coral something but I will leave the official name down below everything in the description box as usual but it is definitely coral so going in with my fix blush and my highlight powder I'm gonna be trying this new highlight from the Carly Bible palette and it's gorgeous gorgeous just stunning I, I can't believe the pigmentation that came out of this palette I mate look at that Wow amazing love this highlight shade and I'm just gonna be blending that in with the other side of my huge fan brush so you just flip it apply flip it blend so that's usually how I do my highlight and as you can see this highlight is fleeky popping wow now i'm going in with my lovable lashes in the style glamorous gabrielle so while the glue on the lashes are getting tacky i'm just going to apply my lipstick today i use the nyx liquid suede in vintage um i use no lip liner so the only thing on my lips is the liquid lipstick so if you like the shade go and grab it guys i did 
watch a few reviews before I bought it and they say you know it doesn't really dry it's not really matte it's more of a glossy hydra matte type of thing but I will show you towards the end guys it does dry it did take a while but it does dry so now I'm just lining my eyes with a nude eyeliner and going in with some fix plus in the scent rose and as you can see guys from this clip it does dry matte I'm showing you it's dried at this time in the video then I'm going in with my Carly Bible palette and just putting that matte white vanilla shade underneath my brow bone just because I wanted a bit of pop there you know <laughs> So guys this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you try it out if you do grab a morphe palette you know they are amazing quality as you can see from this video i hope you enjoyed this look please do follow me on instagram at makeup by tammy please like subscribe and share this video if you want and i will catch you in my next one take care of yourself guys bye